Y'all, we're making potato salad. Come on. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the random web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're gonna to be tackling potato salad. Stay tuned. All right guys, low carb potato salad. <laughs> you got it right, ain't a potato in one of these. If you came here looking for a low carb recipe that contains potatoes, you're out of luck. But we do have a couple of options that have been requested, highly requested for me to, to battle them out. Um, one of those is a cauliflower option. I know, that might rub some of you the wrong way. And the other one is an option using radishes. So the two recipes we're testing today, the first one is keto potato salad that isn't. Uh, it's a cute name and it's by healthfulpursuit.com. And the second, uh, that's the one with cauliflower. The second recipe is radish potato salad with creamy dill dressing. And that's by the website withfoodandlove.com. So I apologize for the clickbait title by using the word potato salad. Um, but obviously if you're looking for a low carb potato salad option, uh, you're gonna be searching for the words potato salad. So that's why that's in there. I guess we should probably call it a faux potato salad, all right? So anyway, let's get started on this. Before we do, I just wanna say thank you so much. We hit 175,000 subscribers, that's insane to me. Um, and this was, I asked you, what, what did you wanna see a battle of? And um, because it's summertime, I guess, potato salad was one of the most requested options. So that's what we're gonna to tackle today. So thank you to my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, uh, welcome here. Be sure to subscribe down below. This is what we do here. We find and test the best low carb and keto recipes on the internet, taste them, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, so let's make some tighter salad. All right, so let's get started on our first recipe. This is the keto potato salad, dot, 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 that isn't. <laughs> I love that. This is by uh, Leanne over at um, healthfulpursuit.com. And this is pretty easy. I've already gone ahead and taken the liberty of preparing the cauliflower. This has been, uh, this has been steamed just for about two to three minutes. Uh, obviously, I broke it up into small bite-sized pieces that would be about the size of what you would think a potato for your potato salad would be. So that's ready to go. Um, and boy, when you steam cauliflower, Flour, it is quite fragrant. I'm about to run myself out of the kitchen. Um, and then to this, we are going to add eggs. And these are the egg whites. This is an unusual recipe for me because we've separated the egg yolks from the whites. We chopped these, and I'm going to show you what we're about to do with these. It's very interesting. So, in the egg whites, go. If you want to know how many eggs and how much of all of this, uh, be sure to go check out uh, the link down below to, um, to her website. If you've been here any length of time, you know that I don't give exact measurements. These aren't my recipes. I'm just here to test them. So I wanna send you to their website because they deserve the traffic for creating these recipes. So um, be sure to go to healthfulpursuit.com. It'll be here on the screen, in the video description below, and in the pinned comment below. All right, so we're gonna mix this up and into this is gonna go a little bit of chopped green onion Get it all out of there. And a chopped pickle, pickles, a few of them. And also a little bit of pickle juice that uh, we've reserved here. And then some chopped fresh parsley, okay? Just for some color and a little brightness, I would imagine. And let's toss that around, give it a little mix mix. And next we're gonna turn our attention to what is basically gonna be a sauce. Um, I have never done it this way, but in a blender, um, I'm gonna use the food processor so you can see it, uh, what's happening here. We're going to add our mayonnaise. Um, it's best to use an avocado oil mayonnaise or something that doesn't have a lot of the, the um, canola oils or, or things like that. Um, I often make my own using light olive oil instead of extra virgin. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Um, to your mayonnaise, here go the egg yolks. We're gonna add those in and make a sort of a sauce out of this. And we've got some pickle juice. And that goes, you can see all the dill and garlic coming out of there. And lastly, a good bit of Dijon mustard. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and put the salt and pepper in this as well. Salt and freshly ground black pepper. So, we're just going to whiz this and make a sauce. I'm 
gonna scrape down the side just to make sure it's getting mixed up good because again she said to do this in a blender and probably would have done that in a blender if I was doing it myself but you guys can't see what's happening when I'm using the blender because it's got a solid color top and you can see into this one so that's why I do that but it did make a mess Did you see it sling all that stuff all over the kitchen just then great okay so it's really that simple I won't even have to time lapse that all right get out of the way get out of the way and now we just got to do our best this is the hard part about using a blender in a food processor is all the mess so we are simply going obviously pour this over here Smells good. Something needed to cover up that steamed cauliflower smell in the house. So all this pickle juice and mustard. Smells good. Get it all out. And from here, toss this up. And obviously this is going to go in the fridge uh, preferably overnight. All this stuff needs to marry. I think potato salad, personally to me, is always better the next day. But I have friends who, um, they like it warm. They want warm potato salad. And I, I mean, I guess it's just a personal preference, but um, I like it cold. It feels like a summer side dish. Just when you take it to the family picnic, be careful, all that mayonnaise can get you in trouble. And then you got everybody at the church sick from the potato salad. So I'm gonna cover this in saran wrap and throw this in the fridge, set it for the next recipe, and I'll meet you right back here. All right, guys, so now we're gonna start our second recipe. But before we do, I wanna give a huge thank you to Perfect Keto for sponsoring this video. Perfect Keto is one of the most well-respected manufacturers of keto foods and products on the market. You guys know I love a lot of their products, especially like their whey protein, which lends a very soft, fluffy, delicate texture to baked goods. Um, but one of their favorite products of mine, since we're talking about summer and we're finally kind of able to, some of us, get out and about, um, one of their favorite products of mine are their nut butters. And these come in little pouches. And when I say that these are delicious, like they're so dangerously delicious, I have to be careful with them. Um, they've got almond butter and jelly. They've got snickerdoodle, which is probably my favorite. Macadamia vanilla, chocolate hazelnut. They got a ton of flavors. And they're full of healthy grass-fed MCT oil um, and, and, and nut butters. They, they're sweetened with erythritol, and um, I just can't say enough about them. Uh, Perfect Keto is very good to me. And they're always saying, you know, what can we send you anything? Do you need anything to test recipes? And I'm like, no, I've got plenty of stuff, but y'all got any more of them nut butters? Because <laughs> these things are fantastic. So... Uh, Thank you for sponsoring me. They're giving you guys a great deal right now for a limited time. It's buy two, get one free. There's going to be a, a, a code down here on the bottom of the screen. It'll be in the pinned comment and in the description. So you can buy two nut butters and get one free. They come in two and three packs. So um, I encourage you to do it. They have been a fantastic supporter of me. So if you want to support me, go support them. Um, they're doing a great job for the keto community and the low carb community, and it helps to, to pay things forward. So thank you so much, Perfect Keto, for sponsoring me. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, so let's get started on our second recipe. This is the one with radishes. And though I haven't tasted them yet, and I'm gonna give them both equal chance, this is the one I'm honestly most excited about. I mean, I think we all know that uh, cauliflower is often the low carb and keto substitute for a potato. But few of us realize that radishes can do the same thing and maybe even better. So this is radish potato salad with creamy dill dressing 
and this is by withfoodandlove.com. Be sure to go check out this recipe down here on the screen. So we're going to start with our radishes. As you see here, I've also cut these into what would be a potato size. They almost look like a red skin potato. Um, these might be a little large, uh, but I prepped all this last night. Um, so we are going to um, steam these uh, basically in some water. And she specifically said to use only a cup of water, not much. And she specifically also said to put it in a shallow pan. Um, I guess she's trying to not just sog these out, um, but they don't take long. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil and bring this to a boil. And then when it comes to a boil, low, turn the heat down to low. I'm gonna cover it and it's gonna simmer for five minutes. So let's do that now. All right guys, so it's been five minutes and we now need to drain these. And I wish you could see how beautifully purple that water is from those. I mean, it is the deepest shade of purple. And coincidentally, that's probably where all the bitterness goes. Cause as you know, once you cook radishes, they are not hot and spicy and bitter. They really mellow out. Um, so let me drain these off camera. I'll be right back and we're gonna cool these off on a tea towel. All right, so I wish you could have seen the water when I poured it out in the sink. It looked like I was pouring out grape Kool-Aid. I'm not joking. So we're going to pour these out on a tea towel. I'm kind of weird about letting food touch a tea towel, but um, unless it's one specifically reserved for food. But uh, So I put a paper towel on top of mine. But this is going to absorb any of the moisture, dry these off, and let them cool off a little bit. Get out of the way. So... That runaway Sally over here. Spread these out. Come on now. Spread these out and they're gonna cool. And while they cool, we are going to make our um, sauce, obviously. So this is pretty simple. Um, in a bowl, I hope that's big enough. I'm gonna probably have a, I'm running out of bowls, y'all. Um, add in your mayonnaise. And your mustard, again, some Dijon mustard. We always just used old yellow mustard when I was growing up. So that's the thing about, you know, potato salad is sort of like cornbread dressing in that everybody's got their own recipe that they prefer, right? Everybody's got the one that they like. And uh, so I, I don't, you know, it, these aren't recipes that you have to follow exactly. I just think of them probably more as a way to, you know, uh, um, a base recipe for you to change and make how you like. I can tell you now, I like eggs in my potato salad and this recipe doesn't have eggs. So if this turns out to be the winner and I made it again, I'd probably add some eggs in there. But we're making recipes exactly as they are um, listed because that's the only fair way to do it. So to this, we're going to add in some shallot. It was a little bit of minced shallot, and y'all, <laughs> I prepped a lot of this last night so I could just get up and film this morning, and um, the shallots <laughs> I covered in plastic wrap and put in the fridge, and oh my gosh, I woke up this morning, I had to throw away all the ice. The entire refrigerator smelled like shallots, like it was overwhelming. I opened the door and just was boom. Um, I literally had to throw out every piece of ice we had. <laughs> so note to self, um, if you're prepping stuff, um, don't cut the shallots the day before. So we're going to add some celery into this, some finely, mint, finely chopped celery. And um, I probably could have gotten those a little smaller, but I kind of like a little crunchy bit of celery in mine. To this, we're also going to add in some dill. This is fresh dill. A fair amount of it. And dill is not something I usually add in a potato salad, but I do like pickles in potato salad, so I can see where that's going to be fantastic. Uh, we're also going to add in our salt and pepper. And then also, lastly, just a little bit, uh, they wanted a little bit of lemon juice. So just a little bit. Okay. And give this a little mixy mix. And then we're going to toss our, that dill smells amazing. 
we're going to toss it with our radishes. So carefully, oh lord, this is going to be helter skelter. I'm going to try to pick these up and put these in there. And I may have too many based on how much sauce there is here, uh, but um, lord, you got tea towel all in your mayonnaise, Wesley. Um, well, that looks about right. So we're going to toss this together. And isn't that pretty? So, you know, maybe even if you're not, I know this is going to be good, but, you know, there's no substitute. It's a hard, a potato is a hard thing to substitute for, but I think we're going to do a pretty doggone good job with both of these. So, that looks gorgeous. All right, so. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get our other one, and we're going to test these, and I'll meet you right back here in five, four, three, two, one. one. Ha! All right, we're back, and it's time to taste these, guys, and look how beautiful this is. I've got tater salad for days. Um, this is the first one. This is the keto potato salad. Whoops, let me get under the camera. So this is the first one. It's keto potato salad. That isn't. <laughs> and this is by um, healthfulpursuit.com. And this beautiful thing right here is radish potato salad with creamy dill dressing. And this is by the website withfoodandlove.com. Now, before we get into tasting these, let's talk about the nutrition because there is a big difference, believe it or not, in the nutrition of these two recipes. So this one here, this is keto potato salad that isn't by healthfulpursuit.com. Per serving, this is 224 calories, 16.8 grams of fat, you got 9.4 grams of protein, 10 total carbs, only 1.3 grams of fiber, so it's 8.7 grams of net carbs per serving. Um, this said, she said it serves four. Now that's a pretty large portion, um, but 8.7 grams of carbs might be high for some of you, um, but that's what it is. All right, the radish potato salad uh, with creamy dill dressing. This is by withfoodandlove.com. One serving of this is 165 calories. You've got 16 grams of fat, one gram of protein. You've got six total carbs, two grams of fiber. So that makes that four net carbs. So, um, and again, that's with four, out of four servings of that. So, um, pretty decent difference in the, the carbohydrate count. So now, most importantly, what does it taste like? Uh, let's give them another stir. And again, both, I think, in my opinion, both of these are probably gonna be twice as good the next day after all this stuff sort of, you know, marinates in the fridge. This thing, I just can't believe how pretty that is. It's the color is so nice. I mean, there's no sense in even calling that potato salad. That's just radish salad. That's beautiful. All right. So let's taste them. Let's taste the first one we made. Here we go. Looks pretty. The um, cauliflower is only steamed for three minutes, so it's still kind of firm. I'm blowing on it. <laughs> it's cold. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's good, especially with the eggs. Mm-hmm. Really good. All right, let me get a glass of water. Hold on. Okay, this is the one I'm most excited about trying because it's, I think, for most of us, probably the most, quote, unusual um, cooked radishes, right? We're used to having them raw, and they're not. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The fresh dill, the crunchy celery. Wow. Okay. Both of these are great. 
Um, I think what this tells me, if, if I had to pick a winner of these two recipes, I would go with the radish because I think that's just a great substitute for a potato. The cauliflower is good, but I think a lot of us in low carb and keto world are, we're getting weary of cauliflower being one of our only options. And to have something a little bit different like a radish uh, makes this wonderful. Now, okay, I also said that these would probably be a, a good base for making it your own. Like most of the things in a potato salad are all uh, low carb except for the potatoes. So maybe just make your potato salad recipe that's your family favorite and sub in the radish or the cauliflower if you want, or maybe a mixture of both. If I were to do this again, I'm going to make this the radish one, and I'm going to add in the eggs from this uh, recipe here it actually increased the protein uh, quite a bit I would add in the eggs and maybe the pickles as well even though this has got dill in it um, I don't know this was really really tasty so mm. so there you have it folks a low carb potato salad it can be done both of these are fantastic options. I would not be unhappy with either of them. Thank you so much for joining me. As I say all the time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating and looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you've come along for the journey. Um, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, hit the bell button down below. That'll let you know just as soon as I release a new video. Also, follow me over on Facebook and Instagram. I do a lot over there um, that, I, that I don't get the opportunity to do here on YouTube. So um, follow me over there. I also want to give another huge thank you to Perfect Keto for sponsoring this video. Perfect Keto um, has, uh, has been fantastic for me. The nut butters, y'all, I ain't joking. These things are the bomb. So uh, buy it right now for a limited time. You can use the code down below. To get buy to get one free if the code is by the time you've watched this video if the code is no longer working you can always use my code highfalutin15 to get 15 percent off of any item so again thank you perfect keto it's sponsorships like yours that keeps channels like mine on the air so i really appreciate it especially during these crazy times um, if you uh, don't know about patreon uh, i have a patreon account i'm going to start listing them all the, the names over here of my patreon members think of it as the tip jar for the internet it lets people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube and you can give a dollar to a month and it just sort of helps keep the train on the tracks as it were. So I really want to thank you guys. All right. I'll see you very soon for another video. Love you guys.